29th of November is observed as the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people since 1978. This day marks the date in 1947 that the United Nations General Assembly adopted Resolution 181, by which it decided to partition Palestine, a decision of immense significance for the Palestinian people, who continue to endure the consequences of that historic injustice. The annual observance of the International Day of Solidarity gives an opportunity for the international community to focus its attention on the fact that the question of Palestine remains unresolved and that the Palestinian people are still deprived of their basic human rights, including in particular the right to self-determination and independence, and the right of the refugees to turn to their homes. It is also an opportunity for states and peoples across the international community to recommit themselves to fulfilling their responsibilities and obligations to achieve a just solution for the question of Palestine in all its aspects in accordance with international law and United Nations resolutions. This day is particularly important for the Palestinian people because despite all the injustices and hardships they are bearing, it reminds them that they have not been forgotten by the rest of the world. Many freedom-loving people around the world support the just cause of Palestine and stand in solidarity with our people, sacrificing their time, volunteering in activities in the defense of Palestinian people's rights, based on the belief that Palestinian struggle represents the center of the global struggle for justice. My name is Michael Sheikh. I'm a volunteer for Free Palestine Melbourne. I've been a pro-Palestine activist since 2003. I believe that the Palestinians are fighting not only for their own freedom, but at the centre of the global struggle between justice and racism in the 21st century. And that is why it is imperative for those of us who want to live in a world of free and equal human beings to support them. Solidarity with the Palestinian people has exacted a heavy price from many solidarity activists. It has at times cost them their lives. Rachel Corey, a young American girl who came from the U.S. to Gaza to defend Palestinian homes against the Israeli demolition policy, paid with her life. Israeli forces killed her on the 16th of March 2003 while attempting to instill fear among solidarity activists to no avail, as solidarity is faith deeply rooted in the quest for justice, equality, and peace. I support the Palestinian people because I make a choice to support all people in their humanity. Ten years before I was born, 1948, two great events took place. The Nakba, out of which Israel was created, representing a world in which might is right. And in the same year, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and that's the world I'm fighting for, that my father fought for in the Second World War, in which might is not right, but everyone has equal rights. And Palestinians still need to see their rights as human beings enacted. The Israeli occupation forces repeated the same grave actions when they attacked the Gaza Freedom Flotilla on the 31st of May 2010, murdering nine activists who had traveled with the flotilla in solidarity with the Palestinians imprisoned by Israel's inhuman and illegal blockade, and were trying to break the siege on Gaza with the delivery of humanitarian assistance and international solidarity. The Palestinian people are fully aware of the importance of international solidarity with their cause. The experience of South Africa and the defeat of the apartheid system cements this feeling. It is difficult for the Palestinian people to face alone one of the most powerful military powers in the region, especially in that this power, Israel, is stripped of morality and human ethics, ready to do whatever is necessary to keep its occupation in place and complete its colonial project with absolutely no regard for international law and human rights. The Palestinians regret that all UN resolutions regarding the Palestinian cause have not been implemented. Nonetheless, those resolutions remain valid and they trust their supportive friends and the continuing efforts to implement UN resolutions to achieve justice and freedom for the Palestinian people. My name is Yunus Arar, a human rights defender. Palestine has been under Zionist Israeli military occupation since 1948. Since then, 705 UN resolutions and 86 Security Council resolutions were made in favor of Palestinians. 
All international forums do recognize and agree that Palestine is under occupation, yet no single resolution was enforced and international communities well was not seriously worked out to put an end to this historic injustice as if Palestinians are parked out from normal and decent life. Therefore, our friends everywhere, free people everywhere, your solidarity matters. Together we can. Solidarity is the best reflection possible of humanity. It is a belief and practice that removes all barriers between a nation and another and forestalls the malignant schemes of some. My name is Aliyah Hassan and I'm a human rights activist and co-director of Canadian Defenders for Human Rights. I stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people. To stand with Palestine means to stand with humanity and to stand against injustice, tyranny, illegal occupation and the ethnic cleansing of Palestine. We will continue to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Palestine in their struggle for freedom, self-determination, equality and human rights until Palestine is free from the river to the sea. Free Palestine. Solidarity proves its efficacy in various instances, including most recently Al Khan Al Ahmar, when the Israeli occupation was forced to stop the violent expulsion of its residents. It was a message to the whole world that we can stop the Israeli colonial power policy of ethnic cleansing against Palestinian people. Yes, we can. Solidarity actions can make a difference and are needed now more than ever.